What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a quick commercial here for SeerCustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxana. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys and girls, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell and you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with my new and improved wall. I have Master Yoda behind me and I have my superstar deluxe guest, Justin France. And Justin, what is up, brother? What's up, Jay? Thanks for having me on your show. It's amazing to have you. So you guys, let me give you Justin's background. Uh, we're going to go really deep on EMFs, electromagnetic frequency, and the dissonant things that they do to us today. But anyway, Justin is an athletic performance coach who has worked with amateur and professional athletes for over two decades. He saw athletes breaking down from the excessive levels of EMF from, of course, their Apple watches, their wireless earbuds. Dude, man, you could go so deep on that. And, of course, electric cars. Yes, all of you Tesla people, you're being bombarded by EMF. He has tested hundreds of homes and clients. He sells grounding and Faraday bags at doctor clinics throughout the country, which I am very excited about. I, I need to get some of those for my house. Uh, these, these grounding bags are hand mined crystals. Yep with moisture and magnetic properties to ground and repel EMF for a deeper night's sleep. This is mother nature's way of protecting us from the excess rollout of man-made radiation. And there's not a single man-made vice attempting to keep up with the other man-made levels. So Justin, man, uh, it's an honor to have you on the Jay Campbell podcast. Thank you so much for coming here. As I've been doing recently now, today is October 28th, Thursday. I kind of want to get my, um, guest's perspective on what in the effing world is happening today on planet earth like just a broad overview in your perception oh man we're getting hoodwinked <laughs> 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 it started a hundred years ago uh, a guy named Bichamp and pasteur Bichamp was a real scientist. Pasteur was a fraud, recanted all of his work before he died. And uh, basically what uh, Bichamp realized is that germ theory is, uh, is not accurate. Viruses are the good guys. They are adaptive system and nothing to fear, nothing to hide from. And we produce them from environmental toxins like EMF, like glyphosate, uh, it's really simple. So it just as we just had an oil spill here in, in Southern California, just as when you pollute the water, dolphins would get sick. Same with the air. You pollute the air. We're going to produce that frequency of virus and adapt to it. It's our adaptive system. So we don't understand biology, physics, waveform, all the different components of science from just the basics. So that's what's happening right now. When we understand that, and then on the, I'll, I'll, I'll notch that one up. When you're connected above, you're protected. You don't have anything to fear. So 
it's pretty simple, man. I mean, you're not living to die, but you're not scared. So, bro, man, amazing. that's it. I mean, the fact that you are the only person who's ever mentioned the waveform other than Pierre Sabak, who's been on my podcast or I've done live streams with him like five or six times. I mean, I, you and I could go so deep on talking about who is a master of the waveform because they're around. <laughs> amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Um, and that was very, very eloquently stated in a very short amount of time. So I know this podcast is going to be amazing. Um, let's talk a little bit about EMF. Um, Obviously, people today now, you know, here it's a buzzword. EMF, you know, you, you want to block your EMF, you know, blue light, wear your blue light blockers. But let's get deep on EMF. You even mentioned to me off air the electric rainbow, which, you know. Invisible. Absolute, invisible invisible rainbow. rainbow. I apologize. I, I literally said electric. I'm thinking EMF. Um, the Invisible Rainbow, which is in a phenomenal book that I actually read like two, yeah, I think you said the same thing. It was either two or three years ago I read it. It's still in my Google, uh, not my Google, my uh, Dropbox drive of PDFs because it's such a profound book. But can you tell, talk a little bit about that? Give a little bit of a historical perspective of that book. Arthur Furstenberg's uh, authored the book and he, it's one of the most extensive research books we've ever read. The bibliography is like 150 pages. I mean, it's just crazy. MDs, doctors, all different types are using this as the main reference. He's so well researched in this and, and cited in everything. So basically he categorizes all the pandemics in the history of the world and, and relates them back to shifts in our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere, whether it's cosmic shift or man-made. And the cosmics, we could, you know, they, they mess up your REM patterns, they throw off your sleep, and it's the same as the man-made. Uh, but literally 1918 Spanish flu, we introduced radio waves, Hong yeah. Kong flu, satellites in the Van Allen Belt, World War II, we introduced radar. I mean, he, and then before you know, the 1900s, yeah, were cosmic shifts. So any type of atmospheric shifts, we're, our bodies are going to be affected because we are one with nature. Exactly. We are one with the universe. We are electric. So is the universe. And our electricity fields rev the same way. They're, we're used to waveforms that are unpolarized, that distribute equally in every direction like the sun. Man-made EMF and electricity is one directional waves. So it doesn't work unless it's not one directional. So if the sun were a one directional beam coming at you, yeah, that wouldn't work for us. So our bodies are designed a certain way, the same as the universe is. Dude, mind blowing stuff. Um, see, I wanna go deeper about that, <laughs> but we gotta talk about you and your product. So I'm gonna have you come back on and we're gonna talk. And I have a researcher that I won't mention until we're off air that will come on and even go deeper with us because that book is a mind bender and there's a lot to talk about in that book, but yeah, you very accurately um, portrayed it, um, which is hilarious. The, I, I just have to say it. The Spanish flu is similar to what's happening now, a hundred years ago, the fourth turning hello, when the Rockefeller family slash foundation instituted for the United States military before World War I. And all of a sudden, the Spanish flu came out of that. Hmm. Coincidence, of course, right? You know. Uh <laughs> no scratching your head on this stuff, my friend. Oh, my God, dude. We got to talk about that. But this is for you, man. This podcast is for you. Okay, so uh, get deeper on electromagnetic frequencies, like how prevalent, how ubiquitous. I mean, they're everywhere, right? I mean, I, I can't even do a call with a coaching client or anyone without telling them or addressing that element of their life, like how protected are you? Right. Now, I mean, I saw this comment early on. I was super sensitive to all the, even with the wire corded phones, like oh, I, yeah. I just, oh, yeah. I talked for a while and my ear would just start aching. So well, remember 5.2 gigahertz phones, if that's what I'm remembering, you know, the wireless, the cordless, the AT&Ts that everybody put in their house, bro, those are radiating the shit out of people. Oh, the, the levels were astronomical. Right now, just the wire buds are, you know, it's 2.45 billion waves per second in your inner ear. There's no skull between your ear canal and your brain. It's a 
airway canal. So we're just localizing radiation in inner ears with earbuds. So yeah, there's there's got to be some proximity awareness on this stuff. Dude, I mean, it's just, I mean, but then, I mean, like, think of all the people that sleep with these by their heads. Oh, you know, they're charging these in their room. They're, they're wake up alarms. They wake up to take a piss in the middle of the night. They check their phone to see what time it is. I mean, I can't even comprehend. I, well, look, dude, let's be honest. I mean, when people talk about like, how can people be so dense or clueless or asleep or not aware? Uh, I give you reason number one. These things are frying people in more ways than one. <laughs> Dude, we're in California. So the California Department of Public Health, they were sued by a Berkeley professor like a handful of years ago just to release their studies, the findings on cell phones. Acoustic nerve challenges. I mean, just cancer like crazy all throughout here. And they hit it. And, they, and then they put it up. And I should have screenshotted it. It was up for like a minute. And now it's down, of course, because the California Department of Public Health doesn't give it two shits Monica. about your health Monica. like at all. So- yeah. Uh, I mean, these studies have been hidden and you know, researched. It, it, it's kind of like smoking. Smoking took about 18,000 wow. studies, 17,000 studies to before people started listening. And, and we're, we're about at that number right now. And so, uh, I mean, bioinitiative.org's done several thousand of them. And the list goes on and on. It's, it's, there's no scratching your head. The science is there. When we're sleeping, our brain wave states one to eight, approximately one to eight hertz or waves per second. Again, your cell phone's 2.45 billion waves per second. 5G, 16 to 90 billion waves per second. So we have a negative ionic charge. This stuff's positive charge. It's one directional and it's 10 zeros faster than how we sleep or have an optimized. So there's no scratching your head on how challenging this is for a lot of us. And yet, the human condition continues to evolve and grow around it. Now, obviously you and I are students of this and we can make a very cogent argument slash debate that we're not evolving in the way we should be evolving. It may be going a little bit backwards for a lot of people, but you know, you clearly are a guy who is, you know, changing the system, challenging, thwarting the system with your technology, you know, that you're selling and that you're talking about it. But can you, I'd like your overview because you're obviously incredibly learned on this. Like, where are we going, bro? Like, you know, I look at it as like, th there's going to be a bifurcation, right? Like if you're part of the transhumanist, Ray Kurzweil, Peter Diamandis, trans, you know, whatever the fuck they are, transhumanist, uh, you know, singularity bullshit, or you're part of like people like you and me or, you know, pro-human, we have to defend this stuff. We cannot become biobots, but you know, you're a very, very astute person and you've been studying this and you, this is your industry and your life. Like, where do you see this go, dude? Like be as branded as you want to be. Well, what we really want to be aware of is when, when they control what goes in you, they control you. So of course, uh, yeah. And, and detoxing, flushing, that whole system is going to be really, really important to clear those mechanisms out of you because they're going to start just crop dusting us with nanotechnology and we're, we're going to be, we're going to have to start to flush it versus injecting. So I, I really feel we can coexist with this stuff and that's the beauty of our grounding bags and, sure. and what we offer. It's not a man-made device attempting to keep up with man-made signals because that's futile effort. We're looking at levels right now, Jay, at 50 times 5G with the cumulative effect of nuclear, smart grid, uh, all, all the cell sites, you know, just basically that whole collective system uh, uh, of wireless technology. So to keep up with that, you know, we look to nature to do that. So the cool thing is, is you can convert a waveform. It's physics. You can make something that's unhealthy, healthy. And right. that's where we're looking. That's what mother nature does with a negative ionic charge, a Schumann resonance, that healing pulse of earth, that 7.83 hertz or waves per second, really similar to when we're in a theta brainwave state, when we're sleeping right. and resting. Right. So it's wild to see, we just have to get back to mother nature and we right. will be able to be naturalists and just you know avoid that stuff. But we learn need to learn how to flush really efficiently. So can the system, and I mean this, you know, because obviously there is benefit to you and I, you know, having this resonant, energetic and frequent 
conversation because we're sharing this information into the universe and many people will obviously watch this and find extreme value in this and hopefully buy a lot of your stuff, you know, if not buy your stuff, you know, become informed of it. Um, but dude, I got to ask the conspiratorial question, like, you know, cause my wife and I talk about this a lot. My wife is also like one of us and, you know, we say what you just said, like, does it have to get back to nature fully? Does all of this shit have to die and us to get, literally go back to living in tribal, you know, eco-friendly zones? Is that where this is going? I know I'm asking crazy questions, but like, I just, it seems like every day it gets darker and darker for so many, in so many ways. Is that where this all has to go for us to preserve our humanity? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I feel we can convert this waveform and just, we, we have to get really in tune with nature and being one with mother nature. So I surfed this morning. I went out right. even right. in Huntington, you know, this morning I surfed with the oil. Right. Yeah. With the, <laughs> I was in the water. I was getting negative ionic charge. Right. I don't right. care about the oil as much. I mean, so, but it, it uh, I, I got my grounding in today. So we just, we have to get your grounding in and we can do this. I mean, they're going to be loading up the sky with, you know, <laughs> they already are. the geo bro. They're spraying the geo. See, I didn't say it. I said geo. They're spraying it everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, any, any scientist can go out there right now and measure the particulates in the human cell, you know, culture and the air and dude, it's everywhere. And again, it's the most conductive, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I, it's a, it's a, it's a transmogrification. Dude, but, I used to, they used to, I used to play tennis. They made my tennis rackets out of graphite. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Right. So they were lighter like, and better. <laughs> and now like, what? I know, dude. I, it's I, um, I, it's I, interesting. So you know, we're, we're, this ties in with EMF because you end up being a conductor with this stuff and they can control your moods and, and really turn up these frequencies. These frequencies are weaponry. I mean, totally. these are literally totally. weapon systems that they've, they're rolling out track trace and weaponize. Uh, and there's no meter to meter the level that they're rolling out. We're just relying on some industry to say, Oh, we're going to do you know, 3G, 4G, 5G, whatever, 6G. I mean, I mean, there's there's no meter to, to even test where they're at. So we just really have to have proximity awareness and then put up uh, the grounding bags and get grounded by nature, for sure. Well, let's talk about that. And before, I want to give you a, a, an anecdote. So two days ago, um, for my company, Asir Custom, I'm doing a deep dive right now on building our corporate deck for investors and um, some other stuff that requires deep research. And I was absolutely, and I was, you know, I'm a, I'm a very prolific content creator and writer, and it's like my gift. And I was stymied, stymied with all this shit. So, dude, swear to God, 5:30, my wife's like, "Let's go." You know, I texted her, and I'm like, "Dude, I'm dead right now," and she's like, "Let's go. We're walking the dogs," and we have like a forest, you know, at our elevation. And I am not kidding you, dude. 25 minutes of going into the forest, walking my dogs with my wife. I came back here and in 15 minutes, 15 minutes, surgically created a deck that for five hours previously, I couldn't even do a slide. I mean, I was stymied. And so every single time, and again, I mean, it, you know, this is uh, falling on deaf ears for people like you and I, but like in truth, this is the most important thing that a human being can do. And that is to ground every single day. Nature is God. The energy and frequency of the natural landscape of this planet is the source consciousness field of God, whatever you want to call it, universal consciousness. It, that's what it is. And you have to go into it and you have to ground. And it's like so many people, they hear it. It's a catch bug, a catch word or a, a, a cliche, but they don't do it, bro. Like every single day you have to ground. I love the fact that you surf. Whether you're in the ocean, you're in the soil, you go into the mountains, you go into nature. I mean, dude, for me, literally, it's just literally sitting in my backyard with my dog at 6.30 in the morning in the you know twilight, crack of dawn light, as I call it, in silence. That's yeah. fucking it, dude. I don't have my headset on and my binaural beats. I'm just sitting there in stillness. Yeah. And, that, and that's all you need. And, and, and even people that are trained and coached to do it, like you and I, we can still get into the rut of doing, 
doing, doing, doing, doing, doing, and being in this technology. And it's just, dude, it sucks your life. It's, it's like pulling your soul. It is. It chips away your life force. It ages you quicker. It decharges your body. And then when you're decharged, yeah, you're opens up a gateway for more stuff. But the big thing is cognitive. So just what you're saying, you couldn't focus and focus, energy, sleep, behavior, anxiety, fatigue, stress, like all that stuff are like 101 textbook EMF challenges. So yeah, getting out there. The cool thing about nature and waveforms, like literally you guys, everything has a resonance and a frequency to it because everything is electric and it has that electromagnetic frequency to it. So when you're going out and you're picking up the colors, the sense, the sound, like everything has that resonance that's recharging your body. And remember these waveforms. So our atmosphere is air, but it's really plasma. Right. And everything, you know, these waves and particles travel through that plasma. So we're, we can get that recharged by going into nature, just really easy. And, and then we can get a decharge being outside as well. So we don't know when that system's going to break us down. So it's super important to keep your life force up. Justin, man, I freaking love you, bro. I mean, I honestly did not know about you like I should have and I apologize but now that I'm listening to you like I want to do like a lot more work with you and get more involved with you because like you're the universe brought us together here today you know you you use the same words that I speak with like I constantly tell people when I you know whether I'm on a podcast or I lecture now that like look you are nothing more than a plasmatic ball of fire <laughs> standing waves and vibrating molecules and you're ha inhabiting a physical avatar body. You know, I tell people like, because this is over in a lot of people's heads, as you know, but for people to understand, it's like, like think of all the UFO stuff you've heard or read or saw on social media and people see orbs. They see like orange plasmatic balls. That's what we are essentially at base essence. And so it's so amazing to listen to you speak at the, to speak like this. Cause I mean, obviously I, I'd say the same thing. Um, okay. Let's talk about your stuff because now I'm like massively intrigued. As soon as this podcast is over, uh, you're, I'm texting you and say, okay, bro, what do I need to get for my house? But um, no, we'll, we'll die. You, you got a care package coming, Jay. Oh, uh, bro, I, you know, I, I'll pay though, gladly. But uh, in truth, like, how did you get into this? Like, what was the impetus for you to start creating this technology in defense of humanity? Literally. Yeah. Well, I worked with athletes, amateur and pros for mm -hmm. so long, a couple decades. And saw them breaking down and I knew I was sensitive to this stuff. And I, I, I do muscle testing, applied kinesiology stuff, really good with energy work and all I, I do nerve work with my clients. And, and I was identifying what are the stressors of the body? Cause number one, I mean, I'm a performance coach. So I we have systems and protocols to make people better, but one on one is you get rid of the stuff that's chipping away at their energy and their life force. They're going to get better without you even doing anything. So I always look at, you know, there's physical stressors, biochemical and, and mental emotional. So physical would be like too much, too little exercise or a big trauma, uh, mental, emotional thoughts, feelings, emotions, stress, and then biochemical food, drink, air, and EMF, but EMF was the one that was the most prolific growing at the highest rate that no one was addressing. I would have athletes come in wearing smartwatches, their whole arm would go weak from it. They're driving Teslas, wearing earbuds, and they're just EMF'd out. And so I looked at this stuff going, and they're breaking down for no reason. So I'm just going, oh man, I, I we gotta have a solution for this. Cause you know, it's not, it's not helping these guys perform. It's messing with their cognitive, we already know that. And then, you know, they're gonna, they're getting these injuries where more people are getting more health challenges. These athletes are, you know, their life force is really strong, but so they're not seeing those health challenges at that stage of life. But man, it, I just knew I had to address it and we look to nature to do it. That's amazing. Okay, so let's talk about the tech that you guys are using and that I'm gonna be getting pretty soon, like, well, what, let me, let, before we start talking about your tech, let's talk about, give us some actionable strategies right now. We already talked about going into nature and grounding, but like, what are some absolutely must do's for where you live 
you know, to optimize your environment, your home environment to, you know, prevent from these dissonant fields and frequencies? Well, get out of the internet of things. So that means number one is opt out of your smart meter and turn it back to analog. Because your smart meter is a two-way router, it pings in your house, looks at everything you're using, and then shoots it back to their substation every seven to fifteen seconds. So Good it's seven, a dude. sporadic pulse. I mean, I it, that's number one. Now, obviously, get timers for your routers so you shut them off when you're sleeping. Uh, put your phones on airplane mode. I would highly recommend getting our Faraday bags, throwing your phone in it, which mine is in here. So they're not data harvesting. And uh, we're going to talk about that in more detail in a sec. But, but um, yeah, really anything like Nest AC units, turn the router off. So it's like it's, it's always waiting for you to talk to it. And that, that's the key with all this stuff. Big thing is anyone looking to get solar on their home, solar is dirty electricity. Like every yeah. home I meter, I metered a lot of homes. Yeah. Every single one of them that has solar has really high GS units, amps to volts. So you right. have a battery on the side of your house that's storing that electricity right. and giving you the usage that you're requesting. That's going to cause lots of static in your line, which in turn is dirty electricity. So I, I'm not a fan of that, not a fan of electric cars because you're sitting on a battery there, uh, not a great option. Well, if you already you. have solar in your home, how do you how do you protect? Do you, do you put a Faraday? You got to load up grounding bags. And then, and then if you can't, I mean, the, the most expensive thing is to see if you can get an electrician to ground it out. But if you do have solar, uh, we got to get you like at least seven grounding bags together and okay. then one on or under each bed. And you'll you're you'll sleep better your life for awesome. and again we're, we're converting that waveform to something yeah. that's that's healthy so you there is a solution and we can live with this stuff uh i just i like to have the roof clear so you can right. connect above if there is solar keep it off your roof of your bedroom especially uh and then the further away the better for the healthier home the this stuff jay is a is it's really a technology uh, manufacturing challenge. They right. can ground the stuff up and really make those signals going in and out of junctions right. and meet and, right. and get these levels to be really safe levels. They do manufacturing just laziness on yeah, all the technology and they're not grounding out dashboards and new cars are like anywhere from 15 milligauss to 75. It's like, holy crap, like 75 milligauss, really? You're literally cooking people you know, in their car. So they're just being lazy about it. And, and that's, that's a big thing, but those are some of the, some of those, some of the few things to be aware of. Obviously don't put the phone up to your ear, keep it on, you know, a speaker where it's not the wireless stuff. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the optimized tribe with us Navy seal, Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 PM Pacific standard time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level Intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health, to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself, helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. I mean, it's, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's really hard. I mean, uh, it, dude, I, I, man, I know it's, it's all we can do is, maintain our resonance, you know, through our state of being. But, you know, as you said, you know, be as proactive, almost militant as you can to understand, you know, these things, um, you know, you're talking about the, the, um, the car, you know, I've had um, speakers slash podcast guests, you know, talk about the petroleum distillate that literally comes up as fumes from the sunlight hitting your dashboard, especially with the newer cars. You know, because as you know, now everything is an ECU. It's all technology. Like you said, it's electric. So the, the, the energy that's, that's being harnessed to generate the power, especially some of these like really fast now, 
you know, twin turbo BMW V8s and V6s, uh, BMW and Mercedes and all of them, you know, Audi too. Dude, it's insane. I mean, I, 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 I'll, you, I'll, I'll make this comment. You probably, this is probably, you know, customary for you, but uh, sometimes I'm sitting in my car and I see the energy of it, you know, when I'm really silent, you know, and observe uh, observational and totally detached, I see it. Do you ever see it? Like, oh yeah. You can see, see it. these dissonant waveforms coming out of your fucking car. You can see it. Also, I can hear it, Jay. I mean, I can hear it too. that, that yeah. buzz, that, zzz, that buzz when you're like, you hear like, what's the buzz? It's an electric car coming. That's, that's a vibration. So Dr. Martin Paul out of Washington state talked about this vibration and it opens up your voltage gated calcium channels. That's excess calcium into a negative cell. We don't want that. That yeah. causes yeah. DNA and cell damage like big time. So that vibration is something that our bodies hear, animals hear, most humans can't hear. it. We hear that little buzz, but uh, I, I mean, dude, I, I had our electricity go off in our home. I was, I was just chilling. All of a sudden it went, it was like this massive buzz. It's just, zzz. and I'm like, holy man, that's what, why it is supposed to be. You don't realize how hot our homes are. I mean, everything's gone up. Cancer, suicide, diabetes, cardiovascular, Alzheimer's. Since we entered electricity, low-level radiation into our homes. Diabetes took the cake because it's all fake food and everyone's, you know, eating it and getting obese. So obviously that's, you know, not going to be good. But, man, this EMF stuff has been a big shift in our world. Yeah. It's all really in the last 15 years. I mean – yeah, you and I can go so much deeper. I mean, I always tell people like there was no cancer 100 years ago. Find me a single case. Find me a case of cancer 100 years ago. And again, I don't want to say stuff that will get this show deleted because it's already so profound, but it's the same thing with the whole entire V industry. There was never, like you said, the whole germ theory. I mean, it's all it's all fraud, bro. Everything is created to make money, to line the pockets of the big corporations and institutions. B BP, which stands for not BP. <laughs> It's crazy. It's all crazy. Um, okay, so let's talk about your stuff, your tools, the stuff that you guys have created that you guys are positioning out in the marketplace. Let's talk about all of them. Like, what is the? If you're somebody right now and you're not, you know, optimized from a EMF uh, shielding standpoint. Well, depending on your setting, we typically just say, "Hey, got to get a grounding bag. Start with one grounding bag. Put it on your bed, at the head of the bed." Because if your bed's touching the wall, it's charged to the level of the outlet. And if you have metal frame, your conductor, if you have coils in your mattress, you're more of a conductor. Like literally just one grounding bag will change your life because you're going to start to sleep and heal. You can so put I, it underneath. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. I'm listening. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm not yeah, a fan of the, anything that plugs in. We don't know when it gets overrun, Jay. Got Any man-made device, we don't know when it gets overrun. These things, these are hand mine crystals. So they have moisture and magnetic properties in them, okay. about a one pound bag. And it's different than shungite or amethyst or black terminal, right. all the other stones that are known to have magnetic properties. These ones have that moisture content with it. So the combination between the two allows it to be exponentially uh, better than all those other ones. And you don't need to reground these bags. So okay. literally they recharge you. They can ground out your area. They, they have some repelling components as well. And then uh, they're converting a waveform. So right. literally you'd probably, you, you definitely don't need any other device or excuse me, grounding sheets in your bed. When you yeah, have we don't have sheets. We just have the pad. We just have the mattress pad, like underneath, and and yeah. um, and then there's the, the pillowcases. That's it. Yeah. I so, I mean, when 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 we deploy it, I always just say, "Hey, just get rid of the other stuff, and then put this in, and see how you're sleeping." And okay. it, so, most people that aren't toxic will sleep like exponentially, anywhere from three percent to fifty percent. That's what the testing shows. Nice. So it works, and then. Well, uh, I know it does. If someone's toxic though, so we want to talk about detoxing, Jay. So you're, you follow Bruce Lipton, right? Yeah, of course. So he feels that your health lies in your chi, in your energy field, your bio field. 
It, it goes six feet out, people. <laughs> right. I wonder where they got that. So anyhow, your chi, any distortion in your life force, in your energy field, you know, that's, that's uh, going to show where, what's going on in your body. So it's energy first, chemistry second. So what we do is we use our grounding bags to actually flush our energy field. So just holding the bag and tapping on it, literally like that, activates the, the moisture content, magnetic properties. It, it, it'll 10x your energy and flush your biofield. So that's first number one. Everyone, when you get the bag, tap on it. Then cover your eyes. And this is applied kinesiology technique. Right. Right. Cover your eyes because we're directing the energy in the bag to your eyes because your eyes, your teeth, your thymus, and your intestine area, small intestines, below your belly mud, get decharged from man-made EMF. So we can recharge those areas. If your teeth are your teeth are your gateway to health, like if those are fraction cracking, that's huge. Same with your eyes. Your eyes are super sensitive. I mean, this wattage, when they turn this wattage up on the EMF, they could fry an eyeball like an egg. But your eyes can really recover and restore really quickly. They're one of the most regenerative parts of our body. Uh, your thymus is your electrical system for your body. That is, if your energy's off, you don't wake up on your energy. Like I get up 5.30 in the morning. If, I, if I'm sleeping into 6.30, something's wrong. Uh, you know, I got to, you know, recharge that and that electrical field in my body. And everyone knows the immune system mostly lies in your stomach area. So that's an important area. But the cool thing about these is you can flush that energy field it, with if EMF. And so if someone doesn't sleep well with the product, it means they're toxic. Maybe they're near San Onofre power plant and they have radiation in their system or, or they just drove through a cell tower and it zapped them some way. We don't know when their body will bend or break or what they're holding on in their field. So when you use this to flush it, your body good meets good. Like we connected really well. Okay. So let's talk about uh, the Faraday uh, bags that you guys have. And then also um, uh, essentially detoxing. Well, yeah, let's we'll stay with the Faraday right now. Uh, but let me, let me backdrop it for you. The biggest probably, I mean, we've talked about a lot of big challenges for our body sovereignty and freedom, uh, but probably one of the biggest right now, Jay, that I'm recognizing uh, probably about 15 years ahead of time is the data harvesting going on right now. Right. And this AI, and we talked about the AI and how they're listening. Da 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 da. This they're internet. listening right now. Yeah. Well, well, by the way, you've seen your phone, right? Sometimes listening even turned off. Well, yours, mom, not in it, but I have Siri turned off on my phone, Justin. I swear to God, and it still records your voice at times. Yeah. Turned yeah. off. Yeah. No, they're listening. It's it's. Uh, they make this tax, so they're listening always. The routers from the. Cable companies have a second hotspot, so someone can always connect to it. When it's off, they're on. They're not off. Period. They're always they're designed to always be on. And so these are the markers right now. Just your bank alone knows your retina scan, your face print, your fingerprint, your driver's license, your social, all your passwords, your gate, how fast you drive, your behavior, like literally. These are the market. They know everything about you. Dominion knows where you live, what you're voting for, everything about you. Guess where these things are made? In the CCP, uh, like literally any foreign car, uh, Alexa, all this stuff. The, our favorite CCP is aggregating all this information, potentially can infiltrate America without one bullet. Potentially? <laughs> I mean, uh, this is a freedom at risk. I mean, this isn't, this isn't like, it's not, this is happening right now right, in right. massive seats. The reason your phone, Jay, only has a battery charge for a few hours is because of all the data harvesting that's going on. Exactly. These phones are meant to last, their batteries last for 10 days to two weeks. And my right. new, in my new phone, last that long because I don't have any tracking capabilities on it. So you got it, it, this is, this is unbelievable stuff. Our Faraday bags will stop that data harvesting. They can't, they can't pull that information when it's in a seven milliliter 
Faraday bag. Uh, the, the crazy thing is these phones, they make them so strong now. Frequencies do go in and out of this Faraday right. bag. It's only 7 ml. And the good shows through the bad gets squashed. When we put my a meter up, uh, RF acoustic meter up to my phone, it'll start screaming, the meter does. When we put the phone in the Faraday bag meter, it, it goes to safe levels. So really cool. The phone will ring. Now I'm saying it, it used to may or may not ring. Now they've increased the level, so it will ring. When it's inside here, sealed. But your location, you need two phones, but they can't data, they can't data yeah. grab when it's in there. But you need two Faraday bags. You need to double up two Faraday bags for your location not to show up on your map yeah, or for your phone not to ring. So we can literally go off the grid, but you need two bags. For now. For now. <laughs> Dude, uh, I mean, again, uh, there isn't even, I mean, I, again, it, you're blowing my mind, but uh, there is no way to actually turn anything off, though, in the phone. That's all BS, right? They want you to think that you have privacy, but you have none. Correct. No, they're all, they're always listening. They're all, it's always going this AI stuff and they're just aggregating this and they have these huge systems and they're pulling all this information together and they're saying just to market so they can literally know what you're going to have for dinner that night before you even know it. Like that's how smart these things really are getting. And the more information they can collect from you, the smarter and faster they're going to get there. So this transhumanism with, with shots going in you and controlling track and tracing, this is super real. This isn't anything yeah, that's a conspiracy. Know. These patents talk right. about right. how right. the conductivity of this and the controlling cap capability and the cognitive control that they can actually roll out with this stuff. So, uh, but to have it literally you're just giving it to them all day long. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're a hundred percent right. It's still illegal slash unconstitutional, but as I told you off the air before the show, there is no constitution at this point. I mean, we've all observed that in the last year, this is now a authoritarian um, corporation and it's now through coercion. You either do or do not. There is no free will. You you know you do not have a Second Amendment or Fourteenth Amendment right that's gone. You know, like I said, I mean, if you know, as I told you off air, what my brother told me is that you know now the corporations through OSHA are fining employers for every single person that is not fully you know what by December eighth. I mean, you can't keep your company afloat if you're getting hammered every single day. And I mean, like you said, you can sue. And you can contact attorneys, but I mean, what does that even mean? I mean, dude, it's 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 incredible. I mean, I, I we both never thought we would see this in the United States of America, you know. But here we are, um, dude. This show's profound. I want to I want to bring you back on, and I want to bring a, a, a research scientist who will remain unnamed, and we can go deeper <laughs> on the rainbow universe. <laughs> Me too. Oh my god, I've never talked to anybody other than like off air about that. So I'm so glad that you're so informed about that. Justin, man, how can people who want to work with you, who want to speak with you, who want to bring you on their podcast, like what's the best way for them to connect with you? Yeah. So athleticism.com is the, the site where I've worked with athletes for all these years. And we do all this nerve work on them. EMFrocks.com is where you can pick up our grounding bags. You can get them on athleticism as well, but EMFrocks.com, you get the grounding bags, get the Faraday bags, protect uh, yourself convert that waveform, you know, make sure you keep it sealed, use it as is, throw your phones in these Faraday bags, stop this data harvesting at these record speeds. You guys, just really, my big thing is, is to get grounded by nature. And there's so many resources out there. I mean, Clint Over wrote the book on earthing. You know, I mean, yeah, we love the invisible rainbow, but Tom Cowan, Dr. Tom Cowan, MD, C-O-W-A-N, Yep. wrote the book, The Contagion Myth, and thousands of studies backing all this information that Jay and I are sharing with you guys. So please look into it. If you don't believe us, look into all this stuff and then call me and tell me how you feel because I know you're going to feel a lot better when you're getting grounded by nature. So but before I let you go, bonus question. I love Cowan, by the way, and he was way out in front of this way back in like March and April of last year. 
Uh, I need to get him on the podcast. Um, I'll, uh, I'll connect you. We're their number one selling product on awesome. Dr. Tom Cowan's site. That's awesome. Um, 5G and 6G and what is to come from there? Like just maybe your, your final thoughts on, again, where that goes. I'm not quite sure. I, I mean, the children's health defense.org, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s yep. foundation that he, he's uh, with, uh, they, they sued the FCC uh, for some proximity awareness uh, and they won. The FCC has to look into these levels that they're emitting for the first time and since 1998 when they established procedural levels. So it's a good step forward. I know a lot of places are rolling out 5G and a lot of them are saying the 5G, like they, they, you'll see it on your phone. It means it's enabled. It doesn't mean it's 5G just yet. So it might be instead of 60 to 90 billion waves per second, it's way more than 4G. So it might be like 30 billion waves per second. So we're, we're inching our way there. Some places have really rolled it out. Uh, and we've seen, you know, huge fires in those areas, electrical fires, things yeah. burning hotter. Like the, the, the health stuff, the environmental impact has been massive. Obviously, the areas that were hit really hard with the pandemic had 5G in it because oh, yeah. you know, the, the, everyone's bodies were adapting to this new frequency and that was the frequency of the contagion was that, that in it and it was coupled with glyphosate. So, uh, you know, Zach Bush will say a lot oh, of it. Glyphosate. Again, environmental toxins poisoning us. At what level they're gonna roll out, you know, five and six G, we know it's coming. We know we they wanna get there. Uh, again, they, they use this whole thing. Like we want everyone to be connected to the web. Well, when you go to really remote third world countries, there's no electricity. There. I know. Right. <laughs> like, they don't need it there. So they don't want it there. This is a control thing. So we just have to have a lot more awareness and know that we can convert this waveform and not fear the stuff. That So there's your key. The people that got the C again, you know, a, a radi radiation poisonous or whatever sickness, whatever you're going to call it, um, we're in fear just as, you know, again, it's all energy and frequency. It's resonance or dissonance, but those who get C after are fearing it into their fields. It's law. It's quantum physics. It's the law of resonance. It, what, that which is focused upon is manifested. You're literally driving it into your field by literally sca be, being scared shitless of it. Right. Exactly. I mean, I mean, this is how performers that. perform. Like you can create all this stuff and you do yeah. it subconsciously. You don't even know we're doing it, but that's how the greatest performers in the history, they start to, you know, manifest these things subconsciously and they're writing it down. They're visualizing, they're seeing it. And you know, it, it, these emotions bring it all to, right. to fruition. It's, I mean, we are reality creators through our words and our thoughts and our actions. And it's just, it's very, very simplistic. This is like you said, a giant wave field. That's how we know it's a simulation, but simulate your reality through your focused thoughts, your conscious words, and your massive actions that are hoping, hopefully loving. And that's how, you know, you create the optimal resonant wave for frequency. Justin, man, I, like I said, man, I love you, dude. I can't wait to get to know you better. And you are definitely one of the children of the light. You guys go to Justin's uh, social media, Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, please go and pick up the EMF rocks technology. Get some of the Faraday cages for your phone. Of course, get the grounding bags. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon. Thanks, Jay. You're the man.